Hi everyone, I just uh, wanted to give you a quick look of my new version of my Render Output Manager. So uh, for for now, uh, it's work only for Modo 801 because I have had all new channel uh, available uh, in this plugin. So now you can add all this new uh, layer. And also I have had the remap pixel value for depth and motion. You can also have on the Prevents tab, the you can choose now also the anti-aliasing for each channel when you create the new layer. Uh, also, I've made uh, some new enhancement. So uh, now, if you uh, look on the uh, on the pattern output, I uh, just give you a, a small uh, look of a new uh, new tag. I have a new one, it's a camera tag. Now you can use the, the render uh, camera name for uh, your, uh, your name of images. So uh, for this example, if you wanted to, uh, to create a folder with the camera name and uh, also after that all your, uh, your uh, passes, now you can easily uh, create this. So uh, for this example, I have now uh, the camera and uh, if you look here, I have the, the separator, folder separator. So you can uh, add uh, the folder for the camera. And after that, I use the group name. The group name is the name of the mask of the group. So here I have ground, sphere, cube. Uh, you, you can uh, use uh, them for, uh, for create the the folder also the suffix is the name on the preference tab so if you look on the preference you have here the suffix so now you can use them also and uh, uh, after that i use the uh, folder separator and for the name of the images i use the camera name the base name it's the base name it's the name you choose here so when i choose the I don't know, maybe here I choose the uh, my new images. So the base name is my new images. So you can create your own uh, your, your own pattern with that. And also the layer name. The layer name is the name of the, uh, the this layer. So you can use also if you want, I don't know if alpha it's used for the mask. So you get mask. Uh, I don't know people, so you can use this name also on your uh, <coughs> on uh, when you create the 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 name for the for the images. So uh, if I create now the uh, this uh, this uh, layer, so here I have this four, so I create create this uh, this layer. Here I. I uh, I can create the folder structure too, so I create yes. And if I look on my uh, on my um, layer created, now I have the the name here. If I look, I have the take the one. It's the name of the camera render. If I look on my scene, I have two camera here. Take the one, take zero two. So. Uh, if I look here, I have the, the render camera on my scene, it's uh, take zero one. one So the name of the, the my layer now, the my images, it's take zero one one Motion, it's the name on the on the preference type, it's a suffix. And uh, 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 after that, I use the, the camera name for the images. So my images, it's take zero one one my new images, motion vector. So you can now uh, use all this uh, this tag to create your own uh, structure, and <coughs> you uh, you can also uh, I don't know if here I create the the same I don't know I, I want to create only the alpha and the def for this uh, this uh, uh, group so for the ground so I create create and now it's create also if I look I have take the one ground it's the name of the of the mask def and uh, uh, take the one my images def so now you can also um, uh, create the the for the the group 
and uh, the best uh, thing I have had for uh, for this new version. So now, when you use the grab grab button, uh, no, so the grab active render, uh, the old version it's only take the name, but it's only take uh, it's try to uh, to uh, recap the the name the old name. But now I have stored for each layer. I store the, the configuration when I create uh, the, the new layer. <clears throat> so when I use the grab uh, active render, so now I I really take the the new the, the 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 name of my configuration. So if I look here, I have the the my new images and also the the pattern. So if maybe if I put all all way. So when I grab, I don't know, I came here, I use the grab, so I have the, the new, uh, all the, the information, it's back. So if you look on each uh, layer, I simply save the, the information on each layer. So I can uh, now uh, easily to, uh, um, even if I, I change, I don't know, for the sphere, I want to use another pattern. I don't know, maybe just uh, this one. So when I create the uh, the, the output for alpha def for this one, so if I grab for the ground, I have this pattern, but if I grab for this one, I change the, the pattern. So now you can really easily change your all settings and also uh, now how this uh, button works it's depend of the selection of your uh, uh, of the uh, the shader tree if you have uh, one uh, selected it's uh, take the 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 parent the child of of the your selection so if i take the ground and i take uh, grab it takes this too but uh, and also it grabs uh, this uh, my my information for this group group and now you can also uh, if i delete that ai i choose this two and create the update with this one it's also delete the old I, I don't want uh, now. So if I, I don't know here, I will grab. And now for this one, I only want to the color and the alpha and click update. It's delete my, my two, uh, my two uh, old uh, uh, option. So now easily, you can really easily to change um, your, your, uh, your layer <coughs> your passes and it's really nice because now when you grab you actually grab the the real uh, information when you create that so you can easily uh, if i grab this and now i want to add with the same information i just create this one and i have the new uh, information on uh, on uh, on the old the <clears> or <throat> the layer so um, uh, also when you uh, use the the uh, selection you can also maybe a little trick if you want to change all uh, layer uh, on your shader tree you can filter easy uh, here with the render output and now you can select all your uh, render change maybe the the name here uh, image and change i don't know do you you have you want to for all layer it's the same so now i create updates only existing so it's update only uh, uh each um, on on selected uh layer so i click update and now each my uh match my render output is the same uh, uh, has the same uh, information so uh, also the the nice trick so now uh, if you want to I don't know you have uh, 
I have here two uh, two uh, take. So I have camera one. If uh, so, uh, I I think it's a record that's it's not working. So if I wait take one and I have take two. So if you now with the same scene you want to uh, change only the the name of the camera, uh, you can easily go on the render tab, choose your new camera, so take 02 and here I, I, I have the new button for the update camera name so when I take this one it's only changed the name on the the render output field name but it's not it's not changing uh, anything else it's only update the name for each layer even if you have the different uh, configuration for each layer it's uh, it's uh, it's take the, the the each layer the information and update the name so now if I update camera name I want to create this new structure so I take yes and now if I check I have here the take two with the the all same information as before so if I check on my uh, on my uh, render uh, folder I have here the take two with the all new structure so you don't need to um, to create a uh, to save in other file to to uh, to launch and the change the name so it's really uh, simply to to change the the, the camera name with uh, with this option so i think it that's it so thank you for listening and i hope you you like this new version have a nice day bye bye